chosen light, right? This is, um, we are crystals and we are evolving into a crystalline structure. I mean, that's what an indigo, you know, we are indigos and crystals at the same time. It's possible to be three that simultaneously. An indigo, I, for me, I see it as like a system buster, someone has a chip on their shoulder, someone who's angry at themselves, angry at the system. That comes a point where they transmute that anger because they start to see themselves in everyone and everything and everything starts to become very transparent and when you're reflecting you're getting rainbows which is a balance of all the seven chakras as well so this is essentially a crystalline our cells are becoming crystalline every everything is crystallizing this whole planet is crystallizing as well and um, this is also memory and we have um, Strand double helix DNA that we're activating right now. It's, it's always been there. We're just not aware of it like telepathy I tell people that this is a natural thing. We all have it and people are like no, we don't And I'm like, oh, okay, think about how many times you thought of a, a friend and then they called you're like, I can't believe you called I was just thinking about you. You know, oh, that's just one of those things we say or a certain TV show But it's like a muscle if if we're using a cell phone and a cell phone really is telepathy but we believe in the cell phone technology more than we believe in ourselves, right? So technology is just training wheels for what we can do on our own. Or it's like a muscle. If you don't develop it, you don't know what you have. If you don't exercise and work it, right? And it's the same thing with crystals. Like we're starting to, with what we're going through here on Earth, where I talk about in Project Camelot, the alchemization process of um, a piece of coal turning into a diamond or a crystal or a seed buried in darkness and silence with a lot of fertilizer or shit dumped on you, you do become a beautiful plant, you know. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you nice do. explanation. I like it. If, if you wish to hold it, you, I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't make, yeah. I'm just charging my... Okay, sure, sure. Gifts, so do you feel something with it? Like, does it have an entity to it? Does it these could have been from Atlantis, essentially, is what you're saying. Well, not them, but... but Some but underground the, What charged them, the, the crystal that charged them. The, the crystal that charged them is three foot in diameter. Oh, okay. Three, three feet across. So they've been charged. So they, they contain the energy, the frequency. They have um, the frequency, yeah. Okay. A lot of people think it's the crystal again, but the crystal is something that amplifies us to help focus our energy and realize who we are. And all crystals are telepathic and they speak to each other like trees too. There are certain trees in Africa exactly. where if one thing is done to that particular tree, then all the other trees know and they respond too. So I think that there's... This neural netting going on, like Avatar talks I'm about sure. the Earth being yeah. neural netting activity on, in the planet, right? Um, so it's like crystal. also crystals are also the cornerstone of a lot of like um, like watches and all the uh, equipment in hospitals mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. like they're used in everything. It's not well known, but they're like the cornerstone for amplifying energy. Yeah. You know, so of course we can use them to heal. Of course you can charge them. Of course they carry information. It's like a magnetic strip on a tape, a crystal. Mm -hmm. and, and I think people don't really want you to know that, but like, I mean. But we're starting to figure it. that out anyway. Absolutely. Well, we, we're remembering it, right? Mm -hmm. We're remembering. I think it's also about focus, laser focus, I think, because there's so many things that is to, you know, that takes our thoughts away throughout the day that it prevents us from doing the things we want to do or even procrastinating kind of thing. But if you have that focus, that precision point, <laughs> um, and we, nothing stops us within our goals. And your mission here, Alex, if you like speaking. That's very cool. These are very cool. Very nice. Do you mind if we just leave them on the table for the rest of the night? Of oh, course, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so I love the energy of them out. Like, I feel like there's just something that changes. Yeah, yeah. I thought there was some change, too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah.